writer of St. John's. For many years, she was a star reporter for Hearst newspapers. She'd written several best-selling books, the latest being Some Are Born Great, which is a, a fascinating look into the lives of uh, some of the extraordinary women of our times. We do welcome more with this. Adela Rogers, St. John. <laughs> I assume you've met the rest of our, uh... You're a, a woman alone tonight. All men except for you. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. You like that, huh? Fascinating book. I've been playing football all afternoon, so this has been quite a day. Are you a football fan? Did you watch, uh, watch the game today? I went. You went to the game? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Did you, do you bet on them? Now, you're not supposed to ask me. Well, that's not uh, illegal, actually. You know? Isn't that? No. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's illegal to make a bet with a, a, a bookie, isn't it? But I think if you bet among friends, that's considered a sporting They don't stay week. friends long if you bet them. Not if you win, either. Yeah. Uh, did you write this for any... Uh, it, it's fascinating. You have a list of, uh, I guess, what you consider the Hall of Fame of women, and you, you talk about a lot of great women. Uh, was there any particular reason uh, because of women's liberation? Uh... Well, I got a little tired, to tell you the truth, of what was known as women's lib, talking as though all women, up to the time they arrived, had spent their lives under rocks, you know, or under somebody's heel. Right. Well, I never had any discrimination, and I knew a lot of very great women. And I thought it was a shame for them to give that idea. And I didn't see them doing anything very remarkable. You've never been discriminated against the Never. Of course not. Just the other way, you mean. Well, I know that you're <laughs> all extremely <laughs> talented and very perceptive lady. Ladies and girls and women get in lots of places where men don't. And while we didn't put on fake eyelashes, we knew more what to do with the ones we had than they do now. <laughs> so um, we just, uh, I, I, I have never been willing, Johnny, to come down and be equal with men. You don't believe in that equality? And uh, would you, I mean, do you think that? I don't think so. You said come down. Yeah, I'm not going to come down and be equal with men. God made men. <laughs> and he looked at him and he said, I can do better than that later on. <laughs> You're turning on us, right? No, I'm not. I like men much better. Well, Ashley, Ashley Montague, you know, the world-famous anthropologist, says that, has written the book, The Natural Superiority of Women, and says women, in practically everything that they do, are superior. Physically, intellectually, emotionally stronger, uh, more perceptive. Oh, sorry, because I've got an awful lot of men friends. Oh, so you're going you're to be popping out now, huh? No, but I do think that women, I wish we could get over any of this differences and hostilities. I was with some women from Women's Lip the other day, and they bark, you know. Well, a lot of our dogs, that's <laughs> why. I have a feeling my house is going to be firebombed tonight. But, uh, Women, women, you, you're a great straight woman. You're, or as they say now, a straight person. They don't say men or women. That's got no labels. Now, Amelia Earhart went on a solo flight and disappeared in 1940, 39? Uh, in there. I Yeah, and she uh, was lost. And then later the tales came out that uh, she had uh, been captured by the Japanese during the war, was held. Uh, she was on a secret mission for the United States, and the whole thing is shrouded. And as I mentioned earlier, a couple of years ago, some lady, somebody said that she was living. Now, how did you meet her, and what do you know about her? Well, I've worked for a great many years, and we were very good friends. You see, she picked up aviation when Lindbergh dropped the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, she came on and became the great woman flyer, and she did all the flights to Mexico, and I covered her as right. a reporter. I went down, saw her off, and you realize that of all women, perhaps Amelia changed fashion. Isn't this odd to think that a girl of her type, but she changed fashion more than any other woman, Chanel or any of the great Catherine Hepburns or anybody, because up to the time that Amelia did it, women didn't wear pants. They just plain didn't. And she said, I can't climb up and down around these airplanes all the time in skirts. 
There's no way I could do it. And put on slacks and boots and sweater and scarf. Right. And that became our national women's costume. And she did that. Uh, 